Greetings. In this video, we're going to talk about using auction sniping software on eBay in order to grab and steal items the very last second and to be the highest bidder at the very last few seconds. Now, I want to talk about this specific software that I've been using the last 11, 12 years called Auction Sniper, auctionsniper.com. They've been around since 1998. They were owned by a company called Octiva and they were sold to Alibaba who now currently owns them. Very reputable, safe to use. And so I've used Auction Sniper successfully the last, like I said, 11, 12 years and I'll snipe items at the very last second. And I'll tell you how to do it. I'll tell you some tips and tricks, what the rate of Auction Sniper is, how much it costs, when you can cancel a bid if you got one in. It's fairly easy to do. And so if you're any if you're familiar with eBay at all, you realize that auctions have kind of, kind of gone down by the wayside. People prefer buy it now. The reason is is because we're in this quick fix society of TikTok and I need my instant gratification right now. So people aren't willing to wait a day or god forbid a week in order to get their item to to see if they possibly could bid. So I think with Amazon and, and instant gratification, auctions are not being used right now they're not being utilized now I as a seller don't use auctions because I lose money when I use lose auctions I'll put an item up for sale it'll sell and I'll realize if I had just waited another couple of weeks just do it buy it now it might not have got an instant sale but in two weeks I could have gotten 20 30 percent more so as a seller I don't recommend doing auctions I recommend you do all your items buy it now list high and then just work your way down so but as a buyer you can make a lot of money you could steal items and get great prices and flip back as a seller on eBay okay so let's look at this particular item and we're going to I want to walk you through I'm actually going to do an auction snipe on this particular item it's a it's a Michael Jordan graded card right here. Right now, it's showing at $13.50. There's 15 bids, so there's competitors here. And it ends in about 22 hours. Okay, so I go to my Auction Sniper software. And so what you're going to do is when you find an item that you want to auction snipe, there's 12 numbers in the eBay link. And it's right after eBay.com and then the forward slash and then some letters forward slash so one two five four so on these 12 digit numbers is my auction number that I'm going to copy I just copy this number this 12 digit item number and I plug it into auction sniper now if you haven't signed up for auction sniper it's easy they'll ask you for your information they will ask that you link up your eBay account to them so they have access they're kind of being like a virtual assistant if you've ever familiar with that you're basically hiring someone to do work for you well you're not actually hiring a person you're using the software it's like a virtual assistant so you link up your eBay account with auction sniper you agree to it you you put a credit card number in that way they can charge you whenever so my Michael Jordan card as I showed you here was the item number so what I'm gonna do is after I'm logged in I'm set up with auction sniper on the upper right here I'll say add a snipe so you plug in that number and then you'll click add here this will bring up this screen and it'll ask you what second increments before the auction ends do you want to do and what your maximum bid is so if we go here as soon as I plug in this number it'll show the picture of my item here that way it validates you know hey yes that's correct that's my item that I'm bidding on so it kind of gives you a feel-good feeling that, hey, that's it. So it'll have your item number. So what you're going what you to do here is you're going to put a maximum bid of how much you want to pay, the very most. So right now, the current bid is $13.50. If it were to sell this second, it would sell for $13.50 plus shipping, right? So in 22 hours, it ends. So what I'm going to do is a maximum bid. I'm going to put $17.25. I may win, I may lose, whatever. But that's the most I'm willing to pay for it. Now, you might say, well, why are you putting 25 cents? Why don't you just round down to 17? Because you'll find that if you if you add that extra quarter or that extra dollar, if it's a higher priced item, it will actually bypass a lot of people that are bidding uh, in real time. They don't have auction sniping. So they'll say, I'll pay $17. 
but you want to beat all those other people that are wanting to bid $17. So you up it by even 10 cents a quarter. And that way, at the very last end, it'll snipe it and beat all those people that are bidding $17. Because I'm willing to pay another quarter for this card, right? So I put $17.25. Now, lead time. What do you want to do? I got right now seven seconds right here. As you can see there, I put seven seconds. Why seven? Why not one? Why not two? Well, as you know, on the internet and even big gigantic firms like eBay, there's the thing called slippage. And if you're a stock trader, you realize there's a slippage. You'll put in a price that you want to bid on like a stock, but the computers and time and data, they will actually might even lose a few split seconds. So if I put one second here, I might just lose it, even though I am the winning bid, just because of data, just because of of the computers not being fast enough. I might be, you know, in Virginia and their eBay servers are all the way in California. So I put I put a healthy seven seconds. Now you could do like four or three seconds. That would be fine actually. But I give myself a healthy seven seconds. And if you want to do a second shot, you can say, hey, if 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 my if the bid comes over seventeen twenty five I'm willing to go up to 19 bucks. So you can do a second shot. I never do a second shot. I usually just do a one and done. And I do seven seconds. If I don't win, I don't win. And then what I do is I click add my stipe right here. And it's done. And so I can't tell you the countless people that I bid, even other auction snipers, by doing my method. Now, you might say, well, how can this save you money you're paying commission to auction sniper which is 1.75 percent almost two percent you'll find that as an auction why everybody wants these quick fixes like TikTok and I want the instant now people aren't willing to wait around on a computer it may be two o'clock in the morning they may be at work and so you may be at work you may be busy doing something uh, editing a video you don't want to be sitting by oh it's three o'clock my item's about to end. Let me go ahead and check. And then you have to log into eBay. You have to check. And then, boom, the time's expired, and you realize you didn't get it. So it's it's a time saver. It's actually a virtual assistant, like another employee that's working for you, at a cheap 1.75% fee. If you don't win, they don't charge you that fee. You only pay that fee unless you win. So it's, it's, it's a, it's a no-brainer. So now if I could keep going further... If I go to the Auction Sniper homepage, I can look at all my current snipes, the one I went on, the one I'm losing, the ones that's currently up for auction. So on the very top here, you can see my Michael Jordan uh, card that I'm trying to bid on. My max bid is $17.25. Currently, it's at $13.50. If you get outbid and it goes past $17.25, Auction Sniper will notify you, hey, you've been outbid. And it'll ask you, hey, do you want to increase your bid, right? And so... This is my current one. I got another one here. These are SATA hard drives. This is a big order. This one is uh, currently at 150 bucks. And then I put a maximum bid at 181. Again, the 81. Why did I put 81 and not 80? Well, as we discussed earlier, a lot of people they're putting, you know, they're doing their own auction. They're doing 180. And so 181 would would leapfrog them at the very end when there's seven seconds seven seconds lead time and then if you go down it'll show other auctions that I've had it'll let you know if you won so as you if you if I keep going down here as you can see here I won this particular one and this one here uh, with the maximum bid I put is 11 for like a Kobe Bryant card Jordan card and I wanted it six. Now I was willing to pay eleven dollars for these two cards, but by using my virtual assistant auctionsniper.com, I was able to save five bucks because I didn't want to sit around and wait for this card to end, uh, for this auction to end. So you can see how it's saving you money. I guarantee you this software has saved me not ten, twenty. It's probably over the last ten years has probably saved me thousands of dollars because. It has done the work for me. It sniped things when other people would have bid, bid at the very last minute. So I don't want my eyes to constantly be on eBay if I have a whole bunch of auctions. So 
you may ask, well, how much does it cost? How much does Auction Sniper cost? Well, it's a flat fee of a 1.75%. So, for example, for every $100, it would be an auction commission fee of $1.75. Okay, the maximum that they would charge is $35, which is pretty much anything over 2000 bucks. They won't charge you over $35. Um, if it's a minimum of twenty dollars or less, they'll give you. A, it's a minimum fee of thirty-five cents, and so what they'll do is monthly they'll charge you. They'll charge you your card, and um, and then of course you get the the bill on the credit card, right? So, I mean, I think it's a good rate. It used to be a dollar fifty, so they've increased it to a dollar. I'm sorry, it used to be one point five percent, but they've increased it to one point seven five percent, which is fine. I, I think right now it's still affordable. But use Auction Sniper, use auctions, eBay's auctions, in order to get stills and to help you save money. I'm telling you it's worth it, and let me know what you think. Let me know if you've used Auction Sniper. Let me know if there's other auction sites that you've used. And make sure you put a comment, put a bell, click that little bell notification. Make sure you like it and subscribe. All right, thanks so much for watching.